Let's prepare our hearts and our bodies for a time of meditation. I call the meditation that I will give today and the meditation that I've taught at hospitals and beyond a heart meditation. And I want to give credit to Virgil Brewer, who taught this at his Unity Chapel in Southgate, Michigan. So find yourself in a place where you can relax. Wiggle your arms a little bit. Wiggle your shoulders. Get kinks out of your neck. Exercise your jaw without talking. And then wiggle your legs a bit. Make your feet go up and down, back and forth. Come alive, even though you're sitting. See if your knees will bend without creaking. And then close your eyes if you feel comfortable. How beautiful a day it is to be alive. Dwell on the beauty that you see and feel right now. Now bring your focus to a place at the third eye between your eyes that up on your forehead. Hold your thoughts there until you are sure you have a focus. And then bring that focus down into your head, in back of your eyes, in back of your throat, down your neck, Bring that point of focus down, down to where you perceive your heart to be. Sit down figuratively inside your heart. What do you see? Have you become a tiny miniature person that Seize the walls of your heart. Moving, pumping, getting blood to wherever it's needed. While you're here in your heart, let's bring to mind where you're at right now. We've just had an election, so newness will be coming. But we're still in the middle of a pandemic. And it's worst three days for our country has been the last three. We don't know what's ahead but we know we will all have challenges. If you know what your challenge will be or your greatest challenge, sit with that a moment. If you have no idea what your next challenge will be, consider now all that you have to meet it with. Consider your open heart that even now you can hear pumping with love for your body, giving your body everything it needs to sustain itself. Think of the resources you have right in your own home. 
the books you have, places you can go if by even staying home that can help you with the challenges ahead. Then think about your family, living or dead, because, you know, in a sense, they are all still alive. You can go to them. You can find support and encouragement there. Think about those people that God has given you just now to live with or live around. Maybe they're friends, maybe they're not. Maybe they're neighbors, maybe they're not. And think about your wider circle of friends. How many, many, many people love you. Love sustains. Love encourages. Love gives strength. So never hesitate to go where you are loved when you are in need. Take a deep breath now. Feel the love coming to you from that heart that keeps beating. Feel the love that is all around you. And the sun that keeps shining, whether we see it or not. Think of the air that's there for you every moment you choose to take a breath. For whatever is coming, you will be supported. You will find a way. And you will be able to do what you should do. Take another deep breath now. Move your body so you can sit in a balanced way. Open your eyes when you feel ready. And come back to this moment and this time. Remember, whatever is coming, you have what you need. You have what you need.